Hi everyone and welcome back to Coffee with My Sunshine and if you're new to my channel I'd like to welcome you. Today's DIYs are going to be things that would normally be tossed or recycled and I wanted to show you how I turn them into really pretty home decor that was um, not only useful and functional but pretty. So first we're going to start with this jar that I was going to donate. Also these letters from the Dollar Tree, a makeup sponge, chalk paint, and also chalkboard paint. So this jar I used to use in my pantry and I no longer was going to be using it anymore for that. So I thought I would try and figure out a different way to use it. So I took the letters and I wasn't really liking how the font looked so I just cut them and just changed them a little bit. I was still wasn't very happy with them but I'm going to go with it. So you're going to take the makeup sponge and the chalk paint and on the inside of the jar you're just going to blot it on and you want it kind of thick because you want the white to show through once you remove the vinyl letters. Then you're going to take the chalkboard paint and on the outside of the jar you're just going to do the same thing and just kind of blot it on. I did a couple layers of this because it wasn't super black like I wanted. And you can do this strip of black as thick as you want. And then I just took the edge of the makeup sponge and dipped it in the chalk paint and kind of outlined um, where I did the black. Then you're going to remove the vinyl letters and the white will show through from the inside. And then on the other side, I just did the reverse. I did the chalkboard black paint on the inside and then the white chalk paint on the outside and now I'm outlining it in black. And on this side, I did the word bath. Next time, if I do this again, I might um, go and pick some of the vinyl letters up from Hobby Lobby or something because I wasn't really liking this font. And then I'm just going to take this jar and fill it with bar soap. For the next DIY, I'm just going to take this Simply Lemonade bottle and some stir sticks for paint. And then my husband cut them to size. You can, you know, decide how tall you want them to come up on the bottle. And then I just took some scissors and cut the um, juice bottle around the top. And if you want, you can remove the label, but I decided not to because I was just going to cover it with the stir sticks anyway. And I just took the glue gun and glued the um, stir sticks all the way around and you might have to play around with the placement just to get it right because at the end there's a little bit of a gap but that's okay I just won't show that side So then I'm just going to take some of the chalk paint and do white all the way around. Not in a solid coat, I just kind of want it rustic looking. And at first I just used a regular paintbrush, but I've been dying to use these um, chalk paint brushes that my mom got me. I was waiting for a bigger project, but I just wanted to see how they worked. 
So hopefully I'll be doing a bigger project with the chalk paint and these brushes because I also have the wax I can use too that I'm really excited for. And then I have these little rocks from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be gluing on the top so that you can't really see the plastic bottle. And I think this is cool because you can use it for um, real flowers. You just have to change out the water. But for this, I'm just going to show you um, some of the fake flowers that I have because I don't have any blooming around my house yet. I'm also going to add a little bit of a farmhouse nautical touch to it with this rope. You don't have to do this or you can wrap it with something else, whatever fits your style. And like I said, this would be perfect for real flowers, but I didn't have any, so this is what I'm using. Next is going to be the frame, and um, this these are some old knobs from our bathroom that I was just going to be donating, but I thought it would be fun to use as feet on a little tray. So I'm painting them the same color as the tray right now. And this is the frame that I'm using. It's pretty dinged up and um, rustic looking, but that's okay. That kind of fits our style. And originally, you know, it just had this little saying in there, and I'm going to keep it for the tray. So with the knobs, after the they're dry, you're just going to remove the screws. And I'm just going to be hot gluing them on the bottom. I think that's the perfect size for like a bathroom counter or um, maybe a coffee bar or even a side table. Next is going to be this olive jar, which by the way are my absolute favorite. And originally I was going to use burlap so I just cut it a little bit bigger than the actual bottle because I'm going to be wrapping it around and um, also folding it over. So I removed the label and I ended up going with this fabric because I wanted something just a little bit lighter. And then I'm going to hot glue it on. And then for the top, I'm going to be leaving it like this because I like the frayed edges. And I'm just going to fold it over on the top and put a tie around so that it doesn't move around on me. And this could be used for anything. It could be used for organizing um, pencils and pens or paint brushes or makeup brushes. I'm just evening out the um, folded over edge and then just going to give it a little bit of a frayed look again. And then for the bottom, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to be gluing it and folding over kind of like little pleats. You want it as flat as you can get it because you don't want the jar to be rocking all over. And I'm going to add in these stones. They're just left over from what we used from the Dollar Tree. Just so it, whatever's in there, it kind of lifts it up a little bit. And then this is what all the projects look like. I think they turned out really pretty and um, functional. You can use it for organizing and decorating at the same time. 
So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I love to chit chat with all of you. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.